What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Kingdom by Noyo Licorice. My name is Splattercat taking a look at the map right now trying to figure out exactly what it is that I wanted to accomplish. As I recall, we were definitely working our way to the right, although I was strongly considering every time I see the little water wheel on the side of that building, it reminds me of the top part of a pie, like around, I don't know, Thanksgiving-ish. It's almost Thanksgiving now, and so it's making me kind of hungry. I, don't, I love gluttonous holidays. In all honesty, did I say holidays? Isn't it like a sauce or something like that? Hollandaise! Anyways. I like any type of holiday that allows me to just be a glutton. And just sit there and eat way more with family than I possibly should. But it reminds me of a pie every single time. Maybe like an apple pie? Or like a peach cobbler sounds hella good? Oh yeah. Anyways. Off the subject of food. Because I really don't want everybody to be super hungry the whole time we're watching this. Did we get wiped out on the last? I see a lot of guys walking around without weapons. And I'm sort of wondering... If we lost anybody. But anyways, my strongest consideration right now, and one that I haven't really been able to pull the trigger on, is whether or not I want to start working to the left instead of working to the right. Because we have a bugged knight on the right, which means that our attack force is smaller, and I can't completely rely on that. I, I just don't think, like, really, I don't think they're going to have what it takes to get through some of the gates as we get further into the game. Which means that now I would have to redirect my offensive mid-game to the left, which is definitely not something I want to do. Because I've spent the entire game working towards the right, and it's sort of like putting myself at a severe disadvantage here. So after we destroy the gate on the right, I think there's two to each side, as I recall. I don't know, I've never beaten the game yet, and I realize that might make some people feel incredibly terrified. Like, who's driving this thing? You know, I, I can assure you, nobody qualified. Nobody qualified. So we've got that over here. I've really got to decide what I want to do on this. Hey, stop picking up all my coins, bruh. Stop picking up all my currents, bruh. We've got one shield left over here. Now, someone had mentioned in the comments, my worry in working to the left is that I'm going to wipe out my only recruitment camp, which is not something that I feel tremendously confident about. If we can't get any more peasants, we're definitely not going any further into the game because our defense is barely holding as it is on the Night of Blood Moons. So the consideration that we would have here is that we in one way... Oh, look at that! The horse does eat! Holy shit, that's amazing! That's incredible! Wow. Culinary horsey. Just eating whatever he wants out of the fields. Good for you, man. Good for... Oh, don't drop all those right here. Are we gonna get attacked? Oh, it's a Blood Moon Knight? Oh, balls. I didn't realize we were getting a Blood Moon right now. That's really, really bad because we're totally, like, re-equipping our entire battle force right now. If it comes from the left, I wouldn't worry about it at all. If it comes from the right, then we're pretty hosed. Because on the right-hand side, we got wiped out pretty hard about... I mean, we're just now... It took them the same amount of time to walk all the way back to base and re-equip. Uh, basically, it took everyone in my base like five days to walk back to base, get a new bow, and start over. Since the last Blood Moon. And so that puts us at a very, very real disadvantage to where I feel like I'm fighting non-stop. Uh... I don't think there's any bunny mounds out here. My guess is that they're probably through the fence right about now. Am I correct in this assertion? Which way did they come from? I'm gonna try not to use up all of my sprint just in case they broke through a wall on this side. This is kind of an odd situation. How are we doing over here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we lost our first battle force. Oh, this sucks. We're not going to be able to replace most of these troops either. I hate those things right there. I hate them so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got problems. We got major issues, and they're coming through that gate with a quickness, too. They should leave once the sun's up. But recovery, like I said, is very, very slow, because it takes them so long to get back to the center of the kingdom at this point, just to resupply, that I question a little bit. They need to make outward supply posts where you can resupply your guys further out from the center of the kingdom in order to make this a little bit more balanced, because right now, it's sort of like trying to direct water with your hands. Like, you can only direct a very limited part of it, whereas the water are your forces. That's what I'm talking about right now. Alright, so let's get those over to there. We gotta have just about everybody fall back towards the center of the kingdom. And if they don't decide to run away once the sun comes up, I mean, that's... That's GG for us right there. I'm gonna wait for the horse to get charged back up because I don't really have much of a choice. 
So we got a couple of guys walking backwards right here. I'm going to get all the hammer guys started and see what we can get re-erected on the edge of the kingdom. It seems like the blood moons are only coming from the right. That's the other part is that I don't think they even attack from the left, all things considered. How are you still tired right now? Like, holy shit, horse. Like, get your shit together. The other thing I'd be slightly concerned about right here... I'm actually just going to build these two walls for right now. I can't guarantee that that's going to work, but I need to go as far to the right as I can. My hope is that maybe I'll be able to rebuild a lot of this without too many bad things happening in between here. I mean, I don't know. Was there a wood wall over here? Oh, shit. That's not good. And I don't... Yeah, they didn't even destroy the gate either. That's the worst part. Is there anybody out here in the forest? Oh, there is. Look at that. On the opposite side. Okay, well, you two come with me while the gate is empty right now. I would love to send somebody to attack this thing, but unfortunately, we just haven't been that lucky lately. Now would be the time, I assume, anyways. Let's go ahead and get these walls back up and see if we can't fix them up. I'm going to try and get everything fixed before we go any further in. I don't know how many hammer guys we lost in between here and the last deployment, though, so... All things to think about. The kingdom is wide open and ready to be invaded, taken over by our enemies, but we will not stop. I'm not a king who gives up in light of this absolute tragedy. I don't give up like that. We're coming straight in. We're going to fight these dudes all day long. That's what I was hoping they would do, is that they would split their time. Good job, guys. I appreciate that. That's a really, really good call. We've also got that right there. Pick up some of these coins. I was a little bit worried that we were overstocked on cash. But much aside from that, I think we're going to be alright. Somebody told me in my stream that they were going to add microtransactions to this game. I haven't verified the truth of this statement yet, but it just seemed like one of those, it came out of nowhere, too. Somebody was like, so how do you feel about Kingdom having microtransactions? I was like, what? I haven't verified it yet, though. But it was just like, I'm not saying that because I'm trying to make a point out of it. I'm saying that because it, like, blindsided me on one end. It was just like one of those weird conversations that I didn't expect to have. Like, you ever been in a situation before where somebody hits you up with a conversational topic that you didn't think you were going to be talking about? Not necessarily that it was crass or anything like that. It's just sort of like, okay, I didn't expect to be talking about that today, but that's cool. Uh, oh, I hope they don't rebuild the wall that's right next to the gate. Uh, we'll see what happens over there. Bad things might occur. Either way, we're getting to the point now where the kingdom is so large that it's really, really hard to make any sort of advancement in any direction. For me to check on one thing on the left side of the kingdom takes me almost an entire day at this point, which is pretty wild. I could send these gents out to hit whatever gates on the left-hand side, but it doesn't look like they got hit at all. I wonder if I can keep this. Somebody said that I could keep this camp up and running, too. If I could expand out. Oh, that might be why we lost, too. The Builder Shrine is down. All right, well, let's drop a huge amount of coins, getting this back up and running. Hey, the fire came back. That's pretty sweet. I like fire. Fire is an enjoyable phenomena. We've also got this thing over here. I don't think it's going to be that helpful, though. There might be another camp back up and in here, but I'm not totally sure. It's weird how it'll let me chop these trees right here, but everything else just stays uninteractable. Hmm. Well... Going along with odd conversational topics, I don't really have anything else for you here today. We're kind of just writing this one out and trying to see, you know, if we can actually clinch the win. And honestly, it's got me it's got me clinched pretty good right now. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull it together. We are in a really, really nasty situation at the moment, and it's just like if I could get a little bit of breathing room, I think I could make the attack. But the loss of that knight on the right, I mean, we would have taken out the gate two days before the blood moon if our knight hadn't been bugged. And so, it's like, what do I do now, you know? Wait, why did the Black Knight go to the left? Hold on, what? Let me go back to the right real quick. I really, really, really wish we could fix that Knight right there. It would be great, actually, if we could. I'm going to go ahead and get some of those going right there. I don't know how many people there are that need weapons, but I have to assume that it's probably a fairly large number. The other problem here is that i got to sit there while they all re-equip. Like, I can't wait for them at the wall because they use up all the bows once they use up all the bows they're like wasting their time standing around doing nothing and so it becomes one of those little things where eh, I need to be two places at one time and unfortunately my skills at being immaterial are very much underutilized I don't actually practice very much at all it's sort of like that kid that has a guitar and says he plays guitar but never actually like practices or anything that's right I'm calling you out right now kid that never practices you should practice more if you want to do it you want to do it you got to practice 
That's how it is with everything in life. Just like YouTube commentary. I didn't start out doing commentary like this. Go watch my oldest videos. I leave them up for that reason so that people can see like how different the channel is from when I first started out. Legit. Oh, look at that. They're back. I shouldn't have rebuilt that stupid wall. That was a mistake. You know, I don't know if two archers... Wow, they're really going through that wall quickly, even though we have the full buff up. Huh. It's kind of rough. And they didn't run away during the night. I'm sorry, during the day. It's sort of weird that he's not dying. Why is he not dying? A little bit of an absurd quantity of HP on the little guy. Alright, so let's sprint back into town. I Hopefully you can't get two attacks. I don't know. Will it not spawn a second attack if the first attack like fought through the day and didn't leave? My only hope here is that maybe they destroyed the gate, but I know that they didn't. I can virtually promise you that that gate's still perfectly fine. Lots of guys coming out right here. Good. I think this is actually our entire archer force, so we might be alright once they get back in. I'll try and send whoever I can to the right, but it's like, I spent so much time traveling at this point that it'd be cool, actually, an idea. I would love it if the farms had a little trough for your horse so that you could refuel them every time you had a farm. Go a little bit quicker. I'm gonna leave those coins where they're at for right now. It's Lee Atwater. Let's go ahead and... How many bows can I throw together here? Probably not the greatest quantity. At the same time, I could definitely use another couple hammer guys too, so I'll throw those in. There we go. Alright, so now that that's been looked to, I need to run off to the right, and actually I'm going to trigger an attack right now if I can. I just want to send the knight and a couple of his dudes over there to just like pound on that gate for a couple of minutes. We might not be able to get there by nightfall. It's going to be a long ass walk. And that is to say a walk so long that it makes your butt cheeks hurt. I hate it when you walk down hill for long periods of time. As a geologist, I used to hike a lot. And walking downhill like all day is the worst. Like by the end of the day, your back and your hips and your knees hurt. And you're only like 24 years old. You'd be like, I really should not feel this terrible doing this activity. But it's just like that constant knock feeling on your knees. And you got a 65 pound backpack on the whole time while you're working. Got everything thrown up in the back. Just like, mm. you'll lose weight though. I dropped 14 pounds on one of my field excursions. I went from like 151 down to like 137 or 136. I dropped weight hard. Then other times I just started making up for it by eating a lot more. Alright, so you guys get after it. Like, you guys have a job to do right now. I want you to kill this thing. Did they not finish this over here? Oh, maybe that's what happened. Here, give me your cash. I actually, I think I know what happened. So we're bleeding soldiers right now because when they come in over here to fix this up, I shouldn't have given the order for this one. This is one of those reasons why the game desperately needs a cancel order because I need this wall to not be built because every hammer guy is going to come over here and mess with the wall basically. Well, hopefully he makes it happen. I don't know. It's about the best that we can accomplish for right now. Yeah, one night's not going to be enough. This is actually really, really, really disappointing. That bug is a major game killer, and in fact, I'm starting to think we can't win. We need another night, unfortunately, and our bugged-ass night is just not letting us get anything done. And it's a definite letdown. I'm going to try and bait them into doing... No, don't walk forward, you idiots. Why would you walk forward right now? Run away from them. Kite, I believe in you. Okay, I don't really believe in you because you've been pretty consistently stupid the entire game. But, eh, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to have faith. But yeah, that's basically a game killer. And so the real question right now is do we restart or do we just, like, cancel the series? Simply based on the fact that without two knights we can't attack the gate. That gate basically dominated us and that was a really, really light... The gate didn't spawn that much. It hardly spawned anything. And so the fact that one knight and three archers can't take care of it and it's not close enough to where they can fire from behind the gate. It's 
concerning. It's definitely concerning. We're going to have a lot of people coming back, by the way. I simply cannot restock the eastern front, too. It takes them so long to walk back over here that I can't get to it. So if we're going to make progress, I'm thinking I might let the right-hand side fall and just have them fall back behind whatever wall we have. And if we start working left, we might actually be able to make some form of progress, but at this point, I just don't know. I'm not familiar enough. Eat some grass real fast. Chug that grass. I believe in you, horsey. I believe in you. Does he only need to chug it like that and then he's good to go? I think we're good. So this front over here might be the one that we have to focus on from here on. I'm going to take these gold coins, though. Because what's the point of being king if you don't get to live rich? Oh, good. He picked it up all in his lonesome. Good for you, man. And I definitely need you guys to join my kingdom, like, right now. If I could build this wall, I'd be pretty happy. Let's keep this shrine fully stocked. I don't feel like it's been two days right now. Yeah, I was going to say, that looked like it was a bug, and indeed it was. It said it was down by two days, but it was actually down by one. All right, so back to the right. I'm not going to trigger the chopping of those trees, I don't think. God, I don't know. We got to keep something up and running. This is downright nasty. Eat the bunny grass. Everybody knows that bunny-infused grass is the best way to get your horse up and running. Ask any horse person. I'm like, what do you feed your horse? I'm like, bunny-infused grass? Duh. Like, why wouldn't you? It's the best thing for a growing bunny horse. I mean... It's what they desire, deep down inside. Really sort of thinking about how I'm going to make this work on this side, because we're about to catch another Blood Moon, too. And that's with a total disregard for whoever's gone to the right as well. So when the little guys get knocked out, and they don't have a weapon, sometimes they walk to the right of the gate, and then we're definitely not getting them back. This is really problematic. Yeah, I'm thinking that working left is going to be our only real strategy for right now. Man, I would love for the Green Knight to come back. That would be the greatest. It would make me super swelly do happy. That is to say, quite happy. Like a 10 on the 10 out of happiness scale. I mean, got to do what you got to do to keep yourself all nice and sated. But right now, I'm definitely feeling like we're not making any real progress. By the time they recover, it's already been, like, the entire next Blood Moon, essentially. It might be time to allow all this to fold back to maybe, like, this wall right here. So that we can still recover if they break through. But we still have kind of an advanced position that isn't terrible, you know? Yeah. Kind of just leaning into this one at this point. Yeah. Put those coins down so that they piss off for a little while. And so now that that's fallen back, unfortunately there's no way to get rid of the big guys easy like that. These ones are the ones you got to watch out for, and unfortunately, don't really have much of a way. Wow, they're going through walls so quickly, even though it has a full buff. Like, it's no wonder the walls are going down so quick. Their attack power is insane. Jesus. Like, he's knocking fat chunks out of that wall. Okay, so for now on, I don't think I'm going to push out to that gate out there. It's unfortunate that it may still be triggered, the erection that is. <laughs> the little, I don't know, it'll have like the little construction section in the background. And what I'm concerned about is it's going to keep sending hammer guys to their deaths. But I think I'm going to reroute and work to the left from now on. And we'll just make it work as best we can. The camp should move around slightly. Little bit of a downside that we lost the siege engine. I don't know if we can build another one. I doubt that we can. Given the way the game has functioned so far, I think we might be coming up on the end now. But, that's not going to stop me from continuing to play. So yeah, we got these two hammer guys going out here. I don't know if they're going out to that place that's right by the gate trying to finish it or not. Which would be 
pretty foolish. It's a bad idea on the face of it all, but what are you going to do? I don't know if the gate maintains damage either. Like when you have a little gate, when I hit it, does it regenerate over time if it hasn't been hit in a while? Or does it just like sit there and maintain the same HP? If we could do that, we could run a game of attrition against it and just keep throwing knights at it until we win. But I'm not guaranteeing that that would be a strategy that's going to be particularly productive or advantageous either. It all just kind of seems like everything's a gamble right now. And I'm trying to figure out what the best course of action is. Does he eat multiple times? Okay, good. He doesn't eat multiple times, so that's perfectly fine. Let's run to the left then. They've got this covered. We've still got two knights on this side as far as I can tell. Which means that we need to start bulldozing along this edge of the kingdom. And so we'll start knocking things off real fast. Grab a couple more peasants just in case they'll become the new hammer guys because they're coming from the left. I'll probably ride out and make sure that the shrine is still working before anything else goes wrong with all of this. And we're going to go with leftward advancement instead because that's the side that we have the strongest offense on. And we're so late in the game right now that we definitely need the two knights in order to make it through a gate. Okay, so he's loading that. He should be able to get out there and chop up a couple trees real quick. I don't think we're taking attacks from the left because I think the nearest gate is super far away on the left. And in fact, it might even be looped around slightly, but... Huh. I don't even know anymore. This is starting to get that vague tinge of like a death spiral, and yet I don't know if I should just like let it go and just like move on to something else, or if we should just film the whole grisly process and just be like, well, we're all gonna die. Everybody get on board for awesome. We lost all those soldiers on the right hand side, by the way, and so I never got them back. They're too close to the gate or whatever, so I'm not sure. Let me ride back out here real quick, although the horse is gonna be tired in just a minute. Come on, Kingy. We got this. The Pingy Kingy. Riding on his dinghy. He likes sailing. He likes small paddle-mounted boats. It's not his fault. I thought I said that was the last wall we were going to rebuild. Hmm? So you refilled in that spot. There's no hammer guy to fix that. Oh, well, will you look at that? We've got a shit wall over here. Okay. Oh, that might also be the problem. Okay, so never rebuild that ever again. I'm not sure how we got away with that, but... It's gonna be a little messed up on this side, unless they come from the left, but I doubt that they will. I think the blood moons are a little too frequent as well when you get further into the game. Becomes like a real considerably problematic issue. They might be coming from the left, which would be like the first time I've ever seen anything like that happening. Weird. Yeah, they came from the left. We're gonna have to go survey the damage in just a minute. My hope would be that maybe I could deal some damage over here. If I could trigger out a couple of little bad guys over here. There we go. We might be able to, like, drain it out or something. I don't know. After a blood moon, it should be mostly empty. I think the gate stays empty anyways after a blood moon. I would like you guys to attack this over here. It would be a big deal to me. Maybe I can get the rocks to hit, too. That's the other part that I'm considering. Like, I don't totally think it's hitting, but it seems like it's kind of hitting. We might be able to make this work. I don't know. No, don't leave archers. We need you to be over here and help out with this. Yeah, I was going to say, they're going to beat up and take our hammers over and over and over again. We need those. Those hammers are important for important hammer business. Here, I'm just going to stack some coins over here so that they can think about what they're doing. If I can't win them out this way, I'll bribe them out the old-fashioned way. There you go, little soldiers. Do your thing. Can I send them in right now to do anything over here? Yeah, I was going to say, send them in, like right now. This might be the only chance we get to wipe out this gate. I mean, obviously we're going to lose that knight again, because we always lose that knight. But this will buy us a little bit of time 
Let's work on this over here. Oh, we lost the knight. Okay. I mean, you guys do whatever you want to do. There it is. Okay. So we broke him through on that side, but the gate is definitely going to fall on this side. That's maybe okay. It's the middle of the day, but they have nowhere to go, and so we destroyed another gate. On the plus side, if we were counting scores right now, we actually, you know, just advanced our place in the game. So at least we made it a little bit further. I'm going to ignore the right-hand side because it's going to take a while for that particular nasty mess to get cleaned up. It's going to be a little rowdy on that side. And unfortunately, there's nothing to survey there. We don't have any archers to stop the damage from occurring. And so we kind of just have to hope that they disperse in their own time. But I think the daytime invasions don't do that. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. This is Kingdom. I will see you all next time. Hi-do, everybody. Thank you for coming on out. It's always fun to play with you. Bye.